I am Brother Matthew. Thank you for tuning in once again. He will lift up Jesus Delivered by our General Superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumoye. Ephesians chapter 6 or 16 above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked that's a verse of scripture loaded with me that's a verse of scripture that have been hidden for many people in many other verses of scripture and the verse of scripture is begging to be released and to come separate above all is telling us here if you mix this among all the other things you have and you keep them at the same level you're not going to get the very benefit or if you put them under and you put other things above this you're not going to get the very benefit of what we have. That's why it says, above all. By the way, he's talking about wrestling against principalities and powers in verse 12. And against all those wicked forces and rulers of darkness. And then he says, even the wickedness in high places will wrestle against them. How do we conquer? In that combat, it begins to tell us about the ammo that we are to put on. It mentions one and two and three and four, and then it goes on. And now it says, wait, beyond all that, above all that, running ahead of everything. If you can have just this, with every other thing you've got, and you put place it above, above all, taking the shield. It said the shield is there. It's just for you to stretch forth your hand spiritually and take it. Taking the shield, the shield of faith, wherewith we, ye shall be able. There is something that gives ability to the weak. There's something that gives ability and strength to the sick. There's something that gives ability to those who are downtrodden. You are able to take the shield of faith. And with that shield of faith, then you are able to quench how many darts? All the fairy darts of the wicked. And today, all those darts are going to be broken in pieces. The sunk holes are going to be pulled down. Because we are taking the shield of faith. And with the shield of faith, we're going to overcome. I said we're going to overcome. We're looking at this uh, under three subtitles. Number one, protection with the shield of faith. Protection, protection with the shield of faith. Number two, pulling down strong holes by faith. Pulling them down. Today, we're going to pull them down. I said we're going to pull them down. Pulling down all the strongholds by faith. Number three, preservation in the shelter of the Father. Preservation. Preservation in the shelter of the Father. Number one, protection with the shield of faith. Look at that verse again. Ephesians chapter 6. And reading there from verse 16, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith we ye shall be able to quench all the furry darts of the wicked. It throws the arrows and the darts and the spears into the heart, into the spirit, into the soul. And when that dart, furry dart, when it comes against your soul, against your spirit, there is a discouragement, a despair that comes. But today, all those things are broken in pieces. As we talk about the shield, will the believer know, will the child of God know that the Almighty God Himself makes Himself your protection 
and your shield. And when you take that faith and you believe the promise of God, the Almighty God Himself will shield you and no dart of the enemy and no arrow of the enemy will be able to penetrate any more in your life, in your heart, in your body, in your family, in your business, in Jesus' name. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision saying, Fear not, Abraham. Fear not, Abraham. Today, you don't have any fear. I said you don't have any fear. Fear not, I am thy shield. When you take faith, and then you take the shield of faith, it is not just faith ordinarily. It is the Father, Almighty God Himself, in whom you believe that becomes your shield, your protection. That's what the New Testament says, your life is seen with Christ in God. And then God, the Almighty Himself, God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, becomes your shield. He becomes your protection. And then any arrow that is thrown at you, it will not get to you. I said it will not get to you. Because the Father is shielding you. And the Father is protecting you. We're told in 2 Kings chapter 6. 2 Kings chapter 6. If you didn't know the protection you have, if you didn't know the possibilities you have in the Lord, and you'll be afraid as if this will get me. No, it will not get you. This will pull me down. No, it will not pull you down. This will end my life. No, it will not end your life. Because there is a shield. I said there is a shield. And all those fairy darts of the wicked will come upon your soul, will come around your spirit, and will come around your body. And you are protected in Jesus' name. We're looking at Second Kings, and I'm reading from chapter 6. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 13. In verse 13, and he said, Go and spy where he is that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. The enemy revealed the whereabouts of the man of God. And you know, sometimes when people ask him for protection, they say, Don't tell them where I am. Don't give them my number. Don't show them the path and the road to where I live. I want you to be so secretive. You don't have to be whatever they know about you. And whatever they have about you. Whatever information they have about you. That information is useless to them. Because God is your shield. I said God is your shield. And so he said, go and find out where the man of God is. Therefore sent he hither horses and chariots and a great host. And he came by night and compassed the city about. And I'm asking now this king of Syria. And I'm saying, who are you looking for? Just one man. What's his name? Elisha. But don't you know Elisha? He had a double portion of the spirit. And don't she know the one that had the unique portion, the single portion of the spirit? The people and the kings were not able to catch him. Think about the man having the double portion. And with the double portion that he had, how can you ever get him? I'll try anyway. And how are you going to try and see what he did looking for just one man? He sent a great host. And then he sent chariots and he sent horses looking for just one man but don't worry about that they will not find you i said they will not find you because there is a shield and because there is a protection and that protection will shield your life and nothing will hurt or harm you in jesus name and when the servant of the man of God was risen early in verse 15 and gone forth, behold, and hosts compassed the city 
bulls with horses and chariots. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? What shall we do? We do nothing. Everything has been accomplished at Calvary. And wonders, part of the wonders of Calvary is that there will be protection in your life in Jesus' name. It says in verse, in verse 16, And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us, they that be with us, they that be with us, are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes on the young man, of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha, the king of Syria. Assyria sent chariots, but they were physical. Saint horses, but they were natural. Saint horse riders, but they were human. But around the man of God, there were chariots of fire, spiritual, supernatural. Around us, you may not see until God opens your eyes. And I pray that God will open your eye of understanding. And you will see that around us, we have chariots of fire. And we have the angelic hosts surrounding us. And because of that, we are preserved and protected in Jesus' name. Zechariah chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 5. Zechariah chapter 2, we're reading from verse 5. For I, says the Lord, will be unto her. A wall of fire round about. The Almighty God said, It will be a wall of fire round about us. And it is so. I said, It is so. And then it says over here, And will be the glory in the midst of her. And that's what the Lord is reminding us. Just take that shield of faith. And when you take that shield of faith, and then your life is seen with Christ in God, every dart and every arrow that is thrown at you, you are going to break everything, and you are going to destroy everything. It is by that shield of faith, you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. All those darts, they are broken out of your life in Jesus' name. Point number two, we're pulling down the strongholds by faith. Why are we taking the shield of faith? Because there's something to pull down. Any stronghold the devil has built in your heart, in your spirit, in your family, there's a pulling down. I said there's a pulling down. As the Lord has brought us here, he said, I give you ministry. I give you an assignment. I give you a work to do. Every stronghold you find that the Almighty God has not built, pull it down. We're going to pull it down. And every plant my Heavenly Father has not planted in your life, in your family, your business, and the church is going to uproot everything. I said it's going to uproot everything. Whoever planted it, Satan, demons, evil spirit, familiar spirit, witches, wizards, enemies, whoever they are that planted that thing or planted in your life, there's an approaching. I say there's an approaching. And we're going to pull down every stronghold that challenges the power of God in every life in Jesus' name. It's telling us in second, second Corinthians chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, reading there from verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. The weapons of our warfare are not natural. The weapons of our warfare are not human. The weapons of our warfare are not earthly. They are not carnal. They are not human. They are not physical. And they are not humanly weak. But it says in verse 4, but they are mighty. Everybody say mighty. mighty. The weapons of our warfare, that which will come against, against the devil and against every stronghold he built in your life. That weapon is mighty. And then it says, mighty through God to the pulling down. To the pulling down. They will come down. They will come down. 
it doesn't matter how high the tower of Babel is that tower of Babel will fall down will be broken down will be totally destroyed and demolished and the Lord will root everything out from the very foundation every, and every side all that tower of Babel everything is going to be demolished in Jesus name there is a power coming from Calvary there's a power the power of the cross and the wonders coming from Calvary everything is going to be totally destroyed and demolished in Jesus name that stronghold may be in the heart of anyone that stronghold may be in the spirit of anyone that stronghold may be in the plan of everyone the power the power of the cross the power the power that destroys and the power that demolishes the power is coming your way it will totally destroy all the stronghold of the devil in Jesus name I'm showing you now from first John chapter 4 verse 4 first John chapter 4 we're looking at verse 4 it says ye of God little children are you of God here today I said are you of God here today ye of God little children and have overcome them we have overcome I have overcome every plan of the devil I have overcome every purpose of the enemy I have overcome and every kind of machination every kind of maneuvering of the enemy I have overcome every sickness every infirmity every disease and everything the devil tries to throw at you you have overcome today in Jesus name it says you have overcome little children you have overcome them because greater because mightier because higher because greater because more powerful is he that is in you than he that is in the world we have it in jesus name i said we have it in jesus name we'll pull down we'll demolish we'll destroy we'll thread down and we're going to trample upon everything the devil is trying to throw at your life in jesus name we're looking at luke chapter 10 verse 19. luke chapter 10 verse 19 behold i give unto you what i give unto you what i give unto you power and then it said power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over what all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you nothing shall by any means hurt you Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 27 Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 27 the eternal God is thy refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee and shall say and shall say and shall say destroy them in jesus name point number three preservation in the shelter of the father you come to the shelter of the father and the lord is saying there's preservation for you and everything that has gone against your life everything will be pulled down totally destroyed